the potential difference, or delta V. So delta V stands for voltage, oops, stands for voltage difference and that's also known as potential difference and it doesn't matter whether it's AC or DC that's true for both the bigger the potential difference the faster the electrons are going to want to move now the units of voltage, as you may know, are volts. And one volt is given by one capital V. It's energy per charge. It's also known as joules per coulomb. I'll write that down, although you haven't had joules yet. But joules are units of energy. And coulombs are units of charge. So a volt is the amount of charge, or excuse me, the amount of energy you give to each charge. Now, let's figure out how to add some of these batteries. I can connect multiple batteries in different ways. I can add them in series or in parallel. And there are different advantages to both of them. So let me show you this. Draw, let's see, batteries in series. Like my tats? Nice, huh? Batteries in series. And what that means is I connect batteries from cathode to anode, cathode to anode. So here's There's one battery. Now I'm going to connect another battery in series. Cathode, excuse me, anode, cathode, anode, cathode. I'll put a switch there and a light bulb. I hope you draw light bulbs better than I do. Now, each battery's got a potential drop. I'll call this delta V1. As it moves from one side to the other side, it drops a certain amount. I'll call this battery delta V2. It's got a different one. You know, this one might have 6 volts. It might be a 6 volt battery. This might be a 10 volt battery or a 12 volt battery. Now what happens, if I drop 6 volts from here to here and 10 volts from here to here, that's a total of 16 volts. The deal is, batteries in series add. So if I have two batteries in series, the resulting voltage will be the sum of the two. A three, four, five, I can put multiple batteries in series and I can add the voltage together. So let's do an example. Well, like this one right here. Let's say this is uh, six volts. This is 12 volts, delta V2, delta V1. Delta V total is equal to delta V1 plus delta V2. That's my working equation, which is, let me give you a better equal sign than that, because you deserve the best, because you're watching the internet, which is, uh, let's see, 12 volts plus 6 volts gives me 18 volts. Now, I could put these in reverse. I could take this battery and psh, turn it around upside down and it would subtract from it. I can add or subtract batteries in series. But generally, you wouldn't want to do that. The only time I can think of you want to do that if you were trying to charge another battery. But you add up these batteries, whether positive or negative, negative the total voltage is a sum of the individual voltages. Next is batteries in parallel. So now we know how to boost the voltage or change it by adding batteries in series. Now, 
Let's try batteries in parallel. Uh, batteries in parallel, what you're doing is you're hooking up cathode to cathode, anode to anode, and you don't increase the voltage at all. And I'll show how that works. But what you're doing is um, a, a lot of systems, uh, a lot of electrical systems, they'll draw a big load, especially when they start up. And this cathode, that's the source of electrons, and it's going to feed you electrons. But sometimes you want to draw more, especially in the beginning, more electrons for your current. And the current is the, the flow rate of the electrons. And sometimes that one cathode doesn't have enough. So sometimes you need to have two cathodes or three cathodes to provide more current. So what the batteries, what putting batteries in parallel does is it gives you a more stable current supply. I think you've all seen or experienced situations where something starts up. I know in my house, when the dishwasher starts in the wash cycle, the lights dim. And what's happening is at that moment during the startup, uh, the power supply, which is the grid, can't quite supply enough electrons. So um, batteries in parallel, you'll find them let's see, where on uh, large trucks uh, like cement mixers. When they have a big current surge, when they start to uh, mix the cement, well, if you've got batteries in parallel, they can provide the current you need. So batteries in parallel provide a more stable current supply. I don't really know if they provide a longer battery life. It's since uh, you know you have two batteries in there, they may put less strain on each individual battery, so they may extend your battery life as well. So let's draw some batteries in parallel. Batteries in parallel. Let's see, we've got there's one battery, and here's the other. Anodes connected to the anode, cathodes connected to the cathode, and they're both connected to a light bulb. Now, check this out as you're looking at it. Let's say this is 6 volts, and this is 6 volts. I'll just talk about the case where I've got equal numbers of batteries, or equal uh, voltage batteries. Now, if I've got, let's see, hot is red and black is common. So if I look right across here, that difference right there is 6 volts along this wire. And I'm going to follow the wire along. I'm going to go next to the wire, but I'm going to follow the wire along. I don't lose anything over the wire, so that's still 6 volt drop, 6 volt drop, boom. I've still got a 6 volt drop, so it hasn't changed. 6 volts, 6 volts, 6 volts, and I've got 6 volt drop across this battery. So I haven't added. If I had these two batteries in series, well, like this, let me put them in series just so you can compare. Uh, world's, world's worst light bulb. If I had these batteries in series, then I had 6 volts, 6 volts, I'd have a total of 12 volts. Here, only 6. But like I said, now I've got, here I've only got one cathode feeding the electrons. The other's going into the battery, making that connection. Here I've got two cathodes feeding the circuit. Okay, so more stable source. Batteries in series add, batteries in parallel just give you a more stable current source, perhaps some longer battery life. Now what about the loads?